Hey everybody, the Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today, I am done with Texas Wine Month. Texas Wine Month is last month. We are back to doing some normal reviews for the time being. So today, I'm doing the 2021 Calia Bella Syrah Malbec Blend. It is 12.5% alcohol by volume, and it is 60% Syrah, 40% Malbec, and it's from San Juan, the San Juan province of Argentina. And I paid $8 for it at my local grocery store. And ah, screw top plus one. That's right. Screw tops are back. All right, so from a color standpoint, I am going to give you a medium ruby. No artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose. So, woo, blackberry and plum. Those are the first two things that jump out. There's a little bit of red cherry. Here is a little bit of vanilla. Forgot to mention this. Overall intensity on the palette is about a medium. The alcohol intensity though is almost pronounced. It's almost burning my nostrils. All right, so I'm getting black pepper. I'm getting a little bit of a black tea note. There's also a touch of sweet tobacco and a little bit of raspberry. So it's got a lot of different elements going on here. Anyway, how does it taste? Let's try it out. Off dry, almost to the point of medium dry. It's not what I expected from this wine. I need to think about how this affects some of the other factors. So acid is medium plus acid. And here's the deal though, is all those fruit elements I was getting, I'm getting them on the palate, but they all taste processed. Like as if they weren't real. And it says it, okay, so I don't read, ever read the back of the label. It says it has a touch of sweetness, which makes sense. Enjoy slightly chilled. This is at about 59 degrees by about now, maybe pushing to 60. The finish is awkward because it's like a grainy sugariness that's also attached to the tannins. If I smelled, if I tasted what I smelled, the palate intensity would be pretty much pronounced. But what I taste doesn't align with what I smell. And the finish is medium minus finish because it just, like the only few good elements that, no, you know, I even have to say short finish because even then there's only a few good elements. I'm not really much of a finish on this wine. Uh, anyway, let's get to the book. You probably know about how this is going to go at this point. So from a balance standpoint, I'm going to give you no points. Um, there is this weird sugariness. There's this weird tannin that like the sugar sticks to. The, the body is lighter than it should be with all those factors mentioned. There's a high amount of acid. It just has a weird structure in the mouth as well, just even after all that stuff has been mentioned. So I'm, I'm not gonna give you any points. Length, it uh, it falls more into a clean finish. And um, that's kind of sad because this should have some sort of staying power and it doesn't because there's no redeeming qualities that stick around on the back of the palate, so zero points. Intensity, I will give you a medium on the nose. And in general, I would say your, your medium on the palate the, oh, no, that's not true either. I would say 0 0.25. 0 0.25 because the palate doesn't match what, what you taste on the palate doesn't match what you smell on the nose. So I can't count that. So 0 0.25. And in terms of complexity, well, on the nose, there should be a reasonable amount of flavors. On the palate, you don't get them. It's a really weird wine to taste because you go from this thing that smells like, it probably has a lot of potential to tasting something that just, leaves a lot of disappointment. So on that note, this is a bad wine. I, I, I don't like this wine. And as a matter of fact, this is what I'm gonna do with that wine. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had La Calia, La Calia, but I don't even care about pronouncing it correctly because it sucked. La Calia Bella <laughs> Syrah Malbec Blend. Uh, if you have, uh, let me know, leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime. Now I need to go find something good to drink because um, I can't let that amount of disappointment stay on my palate. That was just, that was sad for my first review of November.